Welcome, folks, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu. And today I'm speaking with Adam McKibben, and he is with Thirst Relief. He's the director of communications with Thirst Relief. And Adam and I talked about, uh, you know, essentially why photographers are involved with Thirst Relief. And, and he said, let's talk on, online, and, and here we are. Adam, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. So let's just right, jump right into it. What is Thirst Relief, and what does it do, really? Um, we are an international clean water nonprofit, uh, and our main goal is just to end the world water crisis. So we um, provide clean water to people overseas in need um, right now in Africa, India, and Brazil. And so, yeah, we just utilize a technology called biosand filters, and every month they're uh, executing projects in seven different countries to bring people clean water. Wonderful, that's great. How many yeah. how many people are you affecting? I guess in general, in, in a positive way, uh, yeah. throughout the year. Is it is it is it uh, thousands of people? Is it millions of people? What are we talking about here? Uh, it's 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 in the thousands. Um, okay. To date, uh, we uh, we did some numbers last year and brought over three hundred thousand people clean water. Um, that's no to, small number, man. Yeah, no, no small number, and that's that's to date since we've existed, which is about seven years. Oh, excellent, um, excellent. So yeah, so yeah, that number is just constantly growing every year as we as we grow. Okay, where uh, is Thirst Relief based? Is it based in Oregon, where you are, or is it based generally in the in the cloud? What is it? <laughs> yeah, it is in the cloud. Um, oh. We're a remotely operated organization. Okay. So I'm here in Oregon. Um, we have another guy in Texas, and then our founder Jim spends time in Ohio and Florida. Oh, awesome! That's great. That's wonderful that you're all able to put together this wonderful event that's coming up on February 6th. Tell us a little bit more about that. Um, my audience is obviously photographers, and uh, I know I've signed up to be a mentor. Uh, and there's an auction that's taking place on February 6th. What mm -hmm. exactly is the connection between thirst relief and photographers? Well, how did that happen? So our founder, Jim, um, was originally a professional wedding photographer, and he was doing that as he started Thirst Relief. Um, so all of, or the majority of his connections were in the photographer world, so it just made sense for him to be able to reach out to them to support Thirst Relief. And so um, since he had such good connection with that world, they thought of this idea to create a mentor auction because um, he knew he, was, he would be able to kind of reach out and get people to sign up and promote it in the world that he was a part of. Now, has this auction been taking place for the last seven years straight, or is it just something more recent? I think it's a little more recent. It was already taking place when I came on board at Thirst Relief, um, and it was being run by some previous employees. And so I believe, I mean, I think it's been going on for like four or five years. Okay. Um, and I ran it for, I ran it last year, and then I'm running it this year as well. Do you have a cap uh, in terms of how many photographers you can take on as mentors, or is it just anybody who's really interested in promoting Thirst Relief and bringing in uh, the much-needed dollars to make those projects in Brazil, India, and where else? Um, so Brazil, India, and then Cameroon, Cameroon. Tanzania, wow. Uganda, Rwanda. Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, are, you guys aren't limiting to just like three or four countries. You really are going global. Yeah, yeah, we um, we are working, yeah, in seven different countries, and that's just because we have long term partners that live over there, so people we have good relationships with. So okay. we don't we don't want to limit um, where we're working. We want to kind of spread the the impact, and so as long as we're able to have long term partners in those countries, we'll usually we'll usually start a project if there's funding there. Excellent, excellent. Is it possible for someone, let's say, who's who's interested in donating to Thirst Relief? To say, listen, I want my money to go to projects in India or projects in Brazil. Is that is yeah. that possible? Absolutely. Yeah. Whenever um, whenever they make a donation, they can email me specifically uh, and let me know that hey, I made this donation. Which my my email is info at communications or info at thirstrelief.org. Communications is my other one. Um, <laughs> gotcha. Okay. But yeah, they can just let me know. And okay. Yeah, that happens all the time. I mean, we get checks sent in that say it's X amount and I want it to be designated to this project. And so mm -hmm. um, at the end of the month when we send out our grants, we send that money to those to those projects. Can you uh, reveal to us typically on average mm -hmm. how much money is uh, brought in through the mentor program that you're, you're launching on February 6th? I mean, is that, is that something that's open to the public or is that like – Yeah. 
Yeah. Tell us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, last year we brought in around 30 grand. Okay. And so that includes, we also do the benefit shoot, um, which is included in the mentor auction in a way. So that is basically an event that we do at WPPI every year. Um, and we have, I think, five instructors. Um, I don't know if we've revealed who the instructors are this year. We know who they are, but I don't know if that's something that we're waiting to announce or how that works. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a, just a day shoot that we do in Vegas every year. And so we sell tickets for that uh, as well as do the mentor auction. So Excellent. last year, yeah, it brought in around thirty grand. Thirty grand, and, and what does thirty grand buy uh, buy folks around the world? What does it What does it do for for people in, in places like Brazil, India, Cameroon, Tanzania, wherever? I mean, what yeah. does it do What does it do for those people? So um, that would be an average of around five thousand people that are going to get clean water for twenty five years. Um, oh wow! So yeah. So it just it varies from country to country at the price point, but um, as an average of all of our all of our projects together, that would be around five thousand people for twenty five years. It's not a one time thing. No, it's not for no. one year. It's it 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 it, it scales to twenty five years. Yeah, yeah. We we really emphasize the fact that we want to be a long term solution. We don't want to be just a quick fix. Um, and so our the bio sand filter technology. It's a really simple technology, but it's really, really sturdy. It's built out of concrete and sand and rocks, pretty much. And they have been tested to last for 25 years or more. Um, we haven't had one that has even been in, in existence for that long. Um, our, our oldest one is about 18 to 19 years old. Um, and so they say 25 years, but, I mean, it could potentially go up to 30, 35. We don't really know yet. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's fantastic. I mean, that... Uh, that 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 alone, I think, is is a statistic that should uh, uh, you know completely blow away people because I you know most people just think day to day. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna get water uh, this week and next month and next year probably. But you know to think about a, a community um, being able to have access to clean drinking water, I guess, for 25 years uh, is fantastic. That's really amazing. What kinds of um, benefits do communities, villages, people in general have when they do have 25 years worth of clean water? What does it do to them? Yeah, um, so we like to tell people, I mean, water is a basic building block for communities. So once there is clean water, everything can branch out from that. Um, so, I mean, it can do anything from allow children to be able to go to school because before they were consistently sick from dirty water and just weren't able, didn't have the time and were always in hospitals to go to school. Um, so that can happen and then it can create just a lot of productivity because before, um, say, a mom, say her kid is sick, she's also sick. Um, so all of her funds and time are spent trying to get better rather than being able to focus on going to work or taking care of her kids or anything like that uh, as far as daily daily things that we would consider normal. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's basically a building block that we can give out that allows people to have a semi-normal um, normal life in their community. Excellent. I want to throw you a curveball, Adam. Yeah. Um, I've, I've heard rumblings and rumors that Thirst Relief is uh, a Christian organization. Is it mm -hmm. or is it not? We do not consider the organization a Christian organization, um, but everyone that works for the organization is a Christian. Um, so we, it's, it's, it works out the fact that we have Christian employees and that wasn't like a hiring point. Um, we would definitely hire someone that didn't have the same beliefs, but uh, as it is right now, um, we all have similar beliefs. So Okay, okay. So, I mean, I guess one would say uh, the, the entire... Uh, organization has a missionary spirit to it but it's not mm -hmm. it's not it's not so much that uh, that uh, you know you have to believe in christianity to to receive the 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 um i guess the funds for a, a project in your village or whatever right exactly yeah yeah we're not gonna limit who gets help by what we believe or what they believe um our overall goal is just to help people so excellent yeah um Adam, thank you so much for making the time. I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, it's been wonderful to, to, to understand 
uh, more about what Thirst Relief is all about and gives me a chance to feel uh, a whole lot more comfortable being a mentor I, uh, with Thirst Relief and definitely spreading the word about what Thirst Relief is doing around the world. So uh, thank you so much. Oh, not a problem. Thanks for having me. We're really stoked to have you as a mentor this year. We're excited to see what happens with everything. So. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Bye. See ya.